Do we have single people in the room? <laughs> but you're happy being single. You sound happy being single. Yeah, because I'm happy being single now. Last year, I was very negative about being single. I was waddling all over London, being like, oh my God, I'm going to die alone. I'm going to die so, so alone. Whereas this year, I'm trying to be a bit more positive because it's more attractive, so I'm saying I'm going to die independently. <laughs> It is a choice and it is mine. I am Beyonce. Um, <laughs> but it's about confidence, isn't it, dating? That's what we're attracted to, apparently. We're attracted to confidence. And some of last year, because I'm not a very... It sounds contrived to say when I'm stood here with, like, a mic in my hand, like, doing all this, but I'm not very confident when it comes to men. I'm always like, please, will you date the hunchback of Notre Dame? Please, please, please. <laughs> um, thank you for your sympathy. This is not the fucking Lion King. Um, <laughs> But I appreciate that you like me, just the Radio 4 side. Trash, what happened? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming back to our stuff. Dick jokes are coming. Um, right, so anyway, stop it, focus. I'm doing a special. Focus. <laughs> Right, no, but it is all about confidence now, isn't it? And something last year amazing happened that really built my confidence, because I was actually named, wait for it, one of Attitude Magazine's Top 100 Celebrity Bachelors of 2017. <laughs> Number 98. <laughs> I was so pissed off. That's when I made the decision of us being all, like, we're all the master of our own destiny, so we can change what we don't like. So I've only got to join Slimming World with my mother, half an hour. <laughs> Does anyone do, like, a slimming club? No, we're perfect. <laughs> Is that because you're all vegan and gluten-free? <laughs> bam, bam, don't roast the audience, they like you. Um... <laughs> so anyway, I go to Slimming World. For those of you that don't know, which is every fucking one of you... <laughs> <laughs> Slimming World is this group where people who think they're overweight get together and discuss what they're eating. And this big fat bitch called Jano has purple hair and is the size of a garden shed. She tells you that you're too fat while deep throating a batter sausage. And, and me and my mum are really supporting each other through this journey. So we check in every Saturday to see how each of us got on. I spoke to her about two weeks ago and I was like, oh, mum, like, how'd you do this week at Slimming World? She went, really well, actually. I only put on one pound. <laughs> I was like, you've misunderstood, babe. This is Slimming World, not put on a pound a week until you fucking pop world. <laughs> very cute, though. She's very cute. And I think, the re I think another reason I struggle with relationships is because, actually, when it comes to relationships, I'm actually quite a traditionalist, apart from the whole boy-on-boy -boy dick thing. But <laughs> I really... I, I want what the films promise us. You know, I want, like, the happily ever after. I want a Prince Charming. You know, I want, a, I want to find the one. I do. I want the proper love story. And I want to get married. I want a man to get down on one knee and offer me his ring. And... <laughs> It's just not happened. Like, I miss the good old days. You know, like, 15, 16, 17 years ago when I was, like, in college, like, you'd do, the, the way you'd meet people, go to a house party, innit? And you'd just be... Because there was nothing else to do, and so you'd just be experimenting with all your mates, hooking up with each other. It was like human buckaroo when I stayed on. And... I mean, I once fingered a girl out of boredom. <laughs> I did nowadays. They have fidget spinners. <laughs> Same wrist action. <laughs> Damn that pussy. Um, but it's changed, hasn't it? It's just... I love the dirty... See, the trash is back. The trash is back. <laughs> but it has changed. Like, millennials now, like, young people nowadays, like, it's very different. They're all, like, you know... On a Saturday morning now, like a 17-year-old, he's up at like 7 a.m., he's got his green juice, he's got his quinoa, and he's going on a march because a new supermarket's opened and he's not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in college, it was so different. Like, I would wake up at like, sat on a Saturday morning, 7 a.m., like, I'd be steaming, I'd be so hungover, like, the left side of my body wouldn't work. I'd be like, oh, my God, I've had a stroke at 16. LAUGHTER 